right. So this is a leaf blower simulation. Simulation? Leaf blower revolution. It's allegedly an idle game. <laughs> we'll see about that. This is part of the uh, One Shot series. This is from uh, ASAN in, uh, in Twitch chat. And so we want me to play. So we're going to play it. Loud as fuck. All right, that's better. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm supposed to just, I guess, push leaves away off the screen. I see plus ones. If I have gotten rid of a leaf. Okay. Those leaves out of there. More leaves have been added. It's a little thing in the bottom left. I'm not sure what those mean, though. Some unknown number. Top right is the amount of leaves I've put away. Is bottom left like specialty leaves or something? Is there like a strategy here? I don't know. I do not know. I don't think so though. <laughs> so far it's pretty simple. Pretty uh, docile, if you will. Move the mouse around, push the leaves away. There's a four-leaf clover. Oh. Oh, there's a leaf shop. Okay, what does this do? Tools. Oh, I can buy a rake. Oh, yeah, I can click on things. Hold on. Spawns one or more leaf per tree each step. Don't know what that means. Leaves drop 1% faster per level. An automatic leaf blower. Well, I want to get the leaf blower. That sounds cool. So let's just... Oh, I got an apple. Oh, the apple gives 200 points. Oh, cool. I got a lot of apples now. Hold on. What the fuck is happening? The journey begins. Not that time of the year again. I gotta take care of my leaves. Let's buy, let's buy a leaf blower. I purchased one leaf floor. The next upgrade is a lot more. Now, how do I use it? Okay. Oh, it automatically blows leaves. Understood. So I could literally idle now if I wanted to. And I just kick back and does it actually make any sort of progress? It does. Oh, it's quite slow. Okay. All right. So that's like a Roomba. Interesting. I guess I'll just do it the normal order, which is purchase things in, in upgrades. One or more leaf per tree each step. Leaves drop faster. I guess we'll purchase things at the lowest price points and then just progress through there. Okay, so we'll do this, this, then this will be next. Nuclear fuel to your tools for more blowing power. Okay, so now I'm just pushing leaves away. So oftentimes these games allow you to accrue points significantly faster. The more you progress, so what, what seems like a, a lot of points to spend at the beginning oftentimes get offset by the instant amount of upgrades you receive, which seems to be the case because I'm pretty much already back at 500 points. Now let's check out the tool shop. We could buy a rake. Oh, that's a progressive, so it's a better... Okay, so there's the rake. A little bit wider. And then a uh, you know, better rake, almost instantly, I guess. Boop. Next thing is some sort of machine. I assume the leaf blower machine. So 5,000 points for my next tool. I guess I'll just wait until then. Seems like a while away. Maybe I'll just follow my rule. Upgrade as we go. Claim. What is this? Claimed a thing. I seem to come up with a strategy. I spin in the middle and I get wider until everything reaches the outside and then I go back in. Small circle, medium circle, large circle. Small circle, medium circle, large circle. The Roomba seems to be doing not a whole lot, but you know, he's doing his best, so that's okay, I guess. Dare I say he's a bit redundant at the moment. Okay, so let's purchase more upgrades here, 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 I'll max that again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gonna keep purchasing the cheapest option until the cheapest option is five thousand for the new tool. That's my that's my plan. Cheapest option until five thousand. What is this? Oh, claimed new things. Oh, claim all is a button. Okay. What does this do? What's this little purple thing? Supporter shop. DLC packs are optional. 
What the fuck is this? Is this real money? Oh, it is real money. There's actual DLCs for this. Holy shit. Okay, we're gonna pass on that. Alright, so I just upgraded the leaf marking thing, so that means I get now get two points per leaf instead of one point, which is seems like the best thing to purchase because it just doubles the amount of leaves you get. So now I'm accruing a double leaf value. Mid-maxing leaf blower revolution. I find myself moving my character to the beat of the actual song playing at any given moment. It feels as if I'm slowly descending into a... Uh, I don't know, madness? Something? Tranquility? Inner peace? I'm sure. I get a second automatic leaf blower? Or just upgrade to my current one? You can just upgrade to my... Oh, it does get a second one. Okay. We've got two now. I wonder what the limit on automatic leaf blowers are. I just have an ent entire squad of, uh, of blow boys coming around. I can actually keep the shop open while playing if I want to be... Just more efficient. I don't have to see what the fuck's happening. I can just click the shop as I'm basically playing the game. Trees can now drop golden leaves. I'm curious what the fuck that does. It's the most exp oh, it's the second most expensive thing. I guess in the third blower is more expensive. But leaf marking seems to be the strongest thing ever. 2.5k to get an additional one leaf per click, or like one, you know, point per leaf. All right, we're almost at the next goal, which is 2.5, there we go. And I can get leaf markings. Click. Oh, now it's three per click. Oh, it's way fast. I mean, it's, well, it's double. It just keeps doubling pretty much. Well, it's, I guess it's 0. 0.5 this time, but you know, you get what I'm saying. Such a significant increase in leaf production has occurred. The apples you click that gives you 200 each, that doesn't seem to scale up at all. It's just 200 flat, so. As, as time goes by, that actually becomes less valuable. At this point, I'm just going to save up now for the 5,000. <coughs> I'm going to get myself a better blowing device. I need to blow harder, I need to blow faster. Alright, so I get this thing. And I get... What the fuck is this thing? I don't know the next thing is. 500 for some sort of thing. That's oh, a leaf blower. It's an actual leaf blower. I'm actually leaf blowing now. 500 for an attach... Oh, 500 golden leaves. I don't even have golden leaves yet. That's beyond my tech. Had to make a run to the store. Realized that just bagging leaves hand or small rake wasn't gonna cut it. Got my leaf blower now. Legally, there's a story mission here. There's a plot. Things are happening. I decided to save up for the next plus one of leaves, so I'll get the plus four leaves now, which should obviously make everything just go faster from there on. All right, so leaf marking. Boom. Now I get four per leaf, so it's even quicker. I just don't pick up leaves. Do they just keep dropping, or what happens? I guess they do just keep dropping. Are they occupying the same spots, or is it just making more leaves? I think it's just making more leaves, right? So I guess you could just AFK for like a couple minutes, and then come back and just do this. And get your couple, you know, thousand, whatever it was. Huh. Let's do that for now. I'm gonna go get myself a sandwich, come right back. I feel like I finally discovered the spirit of the game, just actually not paying attention. And just when you come back, you're just like, oh shit, I got leaves to clear. And you clear your leaves, and then you just go back to AFK. Alright, I should be able to get the gold leaves now. I kind of want to buy that. The next leaf market is at 64,000, Jesus Christ. Alright, I got gold leaves, so they could pick gold leaves. I want to see one. Where the fuck is a gold leaf? I don't see one. Oh, bottom right, is that a gold leaf? And... Yes, it is. Okay. So they're just like little little micro leaves, and they apparently just took a second form of currency, I assume. Because this shot... Oh, there's a gold leaf shot. Oh, there we go. Platinum leaves. So unlock the leaf portal where you can restart your leaf blowing adventure to gain coins. I don't know what that means. 
Is it like a prestige level? Spawns more leaves per each tree. Higher chance to spawn gold leaves. Receive plus one leaves per level using a... Okay, so it's just like an extra tier of currency used to purchase extra stuff. So I guess after you pretty much max out the main leaf shop, then you start working on the gold leaf shop. Not to mention this also has a gold leaf reward right here of some sort. But you get so few, you know, on average. Do I want to just buy more leaves, I guess, right? And then higher chance to spawn gold leaves is what I should probably get first. Because then I can get more gold leaves. And more gold leaves equals more upgrades. More, 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 more. Okay, I can get the next one, which is... I guess I can just get more higher chance and just keep doing that. Until I feel like I'm getting an actual good amount of gold leaves. Okay, and then one more leaf per tree spawn. Okay. It's more leaves, more leaves, more leaves. Get that again. Okay, I returned the old strategy of purchasing the cheapest reward every time it pops up. So anytime I see a red exclamation point in the bottom left, whatever I can buy, I will buy. That'll get me the most rewards or upgrades, I believe, in the quickest time, simply because I'm just getting through the rewards faster. I do find myself just zoning out every now and then, and then just like not like, you know, re reading something on a second monitor, and then look up and I just like have a bunch of leaves. And I guess that's the point of the game. I mean, it's an idle game, so I, I am semi-idling. But I think more so I'm just not paying the fuck attention to what's happening. I guess it's good. Kind of the point of the game in a way. Just zone out and let it happen. It does remind me of those old browser games you used to play in like middle school where it's, you know, a very similar progression system and you would just finish your homework or not do it or pay the little Korean kid to do it for you, you know, whatever. And then you'd just get your little leaf blower out and play in the bathroom. Oh, there's a whole other... I didn't even fucking scroll down. There's a whole other thing over here. Jeez. Oh man, there's all this other shit. I wasn't paying attention at all. Max combo? Leaf combo? There's combos? Oh my god. Eat some gold apples and get gold leaves instantly. I mean, sure. I wasn't paying attention whatsoever to what the fuck that other whole page was. There's like a whole other page over there. This one doesn't scroll down all right. No, that's it. Okay. I got my third boy. Hey, hey friend. Now I got a uh, gold apple, which does something. I'm not sure what exactly, but it does something. All right, and 500 golden leaves, done. Okay, so this gets, oh, now I could also just purchase this thing, but I'm not gonna do that, I feel like this is more important. So I'm gonna purchase the leaf combo. All right, so there's a multiplier on the top of my screen now. Holy shit, okay, so when I, you reach it, as long as I maintain that 50, it doubles the amount of leaves I get. That is quite OP, okay, I understand why. <laughs> So it promotes a more active playstyle, but it literally double the leaves you get. I mean, that's just insane. And now see how you're going to get to that 62,000 quite quickly. And this allows you to do increase the combo multiplier. So times two becomes times three. So it becomes 12 leaves. And then the duration increase probably makes that 50 cap a little bit higher. Yeah, so it's 100 gold leaves for one gold apple. Nice. Okay. That's, yeah, it's kind of as expected. So a regular apple gives you 200 leaves, which at this point is worthless, kind of. I mean, you're getting thousands a second. And the golden apple is 100 uh, gold leaves. But I feel like maybe the chance to make the apple into golden apple goes up over time. I don't know. We can get more auto blowers, all right? If I click this, I get a fourth one. Yeah, I can get auto blowers every day. Every second of the minute. I wonder if you ever get enough where you could just sit here and they just totally take over for you. I can get golden marketing now, so an extra leaf, which makes it go from four to five, and then it should go to ten when the multiplier goes up, or no? Oh, plus one gold leaves. I understand now. Okay. I think we should hit the prestige and just kind of see what happens. I'm curious. Seems like it doesn't take very long to get to this point. I mean, I've been recording for 50 minutes now, so... To get where I am right now, it takes about an hour of, like, paying attention to that. Oh, so getting the max combo higher does increase the actual amount. Interesting. So max combo is also multiplier in a way. That's pretty still insane, I think. You can really crank the number up crazy high, then. 
So there's a multiplier increase. Doesn't really go much higher, it seems like. I think I'm stuck at three. It goes at four when literally maxed out, so I have to get more max combo to increase the breakpoint from 60 to 70, which should make it go to four. Bam! Another blower. Got five boys in the scene now. It's crazy how 60,000 leaves felt so far away so long ago. And it's only been about a half hour since I felt that, and look at us now. Blowing like a champion. Alright, let's prestige. I want to see what happens. Um, I guess we'll get to 60 coins, whatever that means. Progress the next coin step. I'm not sure what the fuck coins are for. But we're going to find out when I prestige. Okay. Prestige. Confirm. Oh my god, leaf explosion. This is pretty trippy looking. Now what? Now where am I back at? Okay, I'm back at the, the main main man menu. I've prestiged. I've got a new thing. Two new things. There's stats of some sort. Then this thing. Daily rewards. I shall claim my daily gems. There's dailies. I didn't think this game would have dailies. Um, let's get my rake back. Let's, let's get my fucking leaf shit back. Okay. Oh, and golden leaves automatically show up at this point. So there's a golden leaf. It should be, right? Yeah, there's one. So it, it doesn't keep my rewards. It keeps some of the rewards, I guess. It keeps some things. Because it automatically has this, it seems like. I'm not sure how it works. Um, it doesn't save all the rewards, though. Okay. Well, here's the coin shop. So, travel to far away places and discover new leaves. Sure. Not sure what that means, though, but sure. Auto upgrade leaf marketing. So this automatically purchases some upgrades. Oh, it seems I automatically just get way more leaves. So, as you prestige, the coin shop seems to carry over and allows you to just purchase things that normally, I guess, wouldn't be accessible. And as like a roguelike game, it makes you so you get, oh, there we go. Higher chance of spawning fruits. Let's just like, you know, start off with a huge advantage, I guess. Apple, apple. I mean, it obviously starts off so much quicker. That's the whole point of prestiging, I guess, in the game. And the apples themselves offer more. Um, this is where the option of buying max, which seemed like, seemed like such a dumb thing in the first playthrough, makes much more sense now. Because you just, you know, play for like two minutes and you're already at like a point where you could just... You know, click these things and then I can purchase multiple copies of them. So, for example, Nuclear Fool I can just boom, buy max, and just gain five levels of it because I've now got way more leaves, way more leaf potential. So, prestiging does make sense. You just prestige and you get way, 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 way quicker on the draw next time around. Not to mention, you also get golden leaves off the bat. But yeah, I like the game. It's cool. Leaf Blower Simulation. Simulation? Revolution. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty fun idle game, I would say, for some that's you know, basically free. Um, it's on Steam. Check it out now. Uh, link in the description below. And uh, yeah, thank you for the uh, the one shot series uh, playthrough. This was a pretty enjoyable game. I could see myself playing this in the future, or just having it running in the background, or at the very least making a macro that runs it for me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Leaf Blow Revolution. It's cool. It's cool. It's uh, it's pretty chill overall. I wish I mean if they had like a mobile version, I'd definitely play that. Um, but yeah, thanks again for the uh, one shot series playthrough. If you guys uh, want me to play it. Other games, just uh, yeah, chunk out the 100,000 channel points on stream. I'll play any game um, that you supply or I have for an hour that has been played before. I get a similar situation like this. So I will uh, see you guys in the next one-shot series. Lighty out.